Welcome to the Pencil Smooth and Erase Path Tool demonstration for Adobe Illustrator. Um, this demonstration deals with these tools located in your toolbar, Pencil, Smooth, and Path Erase. And after I show you how these simple tools work, then we will just go over a couple of extra modes that you have available, including Drawing Normal versus Draw Behind or Draw Inside constraints. Say, for example, I wanted to draw an egg. Illustrator tries to follow your hand and create a very simple shape and it tries to mimic a freehand drawing technique or you know makes it feel pretty freehand kind of works better if you have a tablet um, I happen to have a mouse and a trackpad so I don't have all of those fancy options available to me so you don't have to have you don't have to have a tablet in order to use this tool and I've got this egg here but I think it could be a little bit smoother so then I could use my smooth tool and I can click and drag on some of the areas that I think need to be smoothed out and working with my egg shape and I just simply click and drag on the areas until I'm pretty happy with this egg shape and of course I can use the selection tool to rotate it or move it around I can use the direct selection tool if I wanted to um, manipulate a specific point on the egg. I can even use the pin tool in concert to convert an anchor point to a sm smoother point. So there's all kinds of options available to me even after I've created my first initial shape. So I've got this shape on the artboard and I could do other things to it including erase some of my paths so I could even come back in and erase a part of my path that I don't like using the path eraser tool however I have to have that path selected in order for that to work and as I click and drag on bits of the path I can erase them using the path eraser tool so now I have this open shape. It used to be a closed egg shape, now it's an open shape. Um, but I could go back in and manipulate it as needed. The other interesting thing about these drawing tools is that if you already have created, let's say, this circle on the artboard, you can actually draw inside or you can choose to constrain it to drawing behind. In some cases, that become that comes into play. If I wanted to add some sort of texture, or maybe this was something that I intended to freehand draw some scales into, I could choose the draw inside mode, which is located on the tools panel. And depending on how your toolbar is configured, if you make it into this two column situation. You can see the various drawing options a little bit better that are available to you. And If I choose draw inside mode to the selected object on the stage, even if I draw on the outside with my freehand pencil, it constrains the drawing to inside. It treats it as a grouped object in which you know the, the lines on the outside of it are masked. So that's one thing that you have available to you. Another option is constraining to draw behind. So if I have this rectangle on the stage, actually let's move this guy out of the way. If I have this rectangle on the stage, and let me add a little color to it so it's easier to see. And now if I wanted to constrain my drawing to behind this object only, then I can choose draw behind mode. And notice how the path is there, but it constrained it to drawing behind. Now the normal Illustrator default function is that the newest item 
on the artboard is the one that gets priority for going in front. But if you have draw behind, constraining it to drawing behind versus the drawing normal mode in which it would anything that you add gets priority and it is assumed that you want that item to be in front. So those are just a couple of quirky options that you have available to you. And it's fun to play with the various instruments of destruction here. Um, drawing a freehand path on the stage and then coming in and using your path eraser to erase bits of it or smoothing it out using the smooth tool. And it just tries to second guess what it is that you want to smooth out. So I encourage you to experiment with these tools and have a bit of fun and try working in the different constraint modes that are available to you at the base of your tool options, your toolbar.